Hey, Olive, Arlo, and Frank. Grandpa, I'm coming to you from the living room in Jack's Beach. I'm doing a two song series called I Chose the Dave Clark Five and Betamax. Maybe it's called I Chose Betamax and the Dave Clark Five. I forget. What it's got to do with is choosing something that may have been good. May, may have checked all the right boxes, but it turned out to be not as good as, as another, another decision that I made, another choice that I made. So in the other one, I talk about Betamax, which was a thing, Frank, you probably know what a VHS is. Olive and Arlo, you probably, you'll see them in antique stores. But when VHS came out, there were tape machines that you put a tape in, you could play a movie, you could tape things. You could, you know, tape off the TV or... Um, there was a rival that Sony made called Betamax and it was a much better format. I did all the research and it wasn't as popular. I liked it, but it, it turned out to be very difficult to get the tapes. So the boys kept watching the same tapes that I had taped, because you rented the videos from the, the video stores, and then you had to take them back there. So the only tapes that I had were tapes that I had taped off the TV. So they watched the sh same shows over and over and over again. And Arlo, I've watched a little bit of the TV with you and sometimes you watch the same things over and over again. It's not a bad thing. But anyway, this is the other one, the Dave Clark Five. When the Dave Clark Five came out in the early 60s, I was, you know, around 10 years old. Nine, 10. Yeah, I don't know exactly when they came out. They came out right around the same time as the Beatles. And eventually I became a big Beatles fan, but when they first came out, I was like, no, the Dave Clark Five is much better than the Beatles. And they weren't. They were an interesting kind of teeny bop band. But I would tell people, no, the Dave Clark Five, they're the, they're the greatest rock and roll band in the world. And they were. Fortunately, I, knew I wasn't stuck with the Dave Clark Five like I was with my Betamax machine, because those machines were very expensive and you didn't just go out and buy a new one. Now those kind of things are very inexpensive. So here's a song that they did. They, they did a lot of very upbeat songs, like in your face songs, and they would kind of, kind of do subtle digs at the Beatles in some of their songs. I, there's none of that in here.
was glared all over by the Dave Clark Five. And it's been awesome because I, I put things like Dave Clark Five into Pandora. And, and as I'm listening to these songs, realizing, whoa, yeah, I have some songs that were just a few that I always went back to and they meant a lot to me. But I had forgotten how much songs like these that I'm drumming up from the early 60s when I first started playing guitar, when I first started listening to music, how, how much they influenced me, how much I liked them. I had gotten away from, from that. As I grew up, I was around guitarists who were music snobs. This is good, this is bad, this is crap. You can't listen to that, you can't like that. And, and these guys were older than me, so I always looked up to them and I, and I let them control my mind. Don't let anybody control your mind. Like what you like, even if it's the Dave Clark Five, and even if you're watching it on Betamax. Now, peace out.